Welcome to James River Kids Online. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever.
it. I know it's somewhere. Hey, Danny, dinner will be ready in 10 minutes. Hi, Dad. Have you seen Leo? You know, I'm sure he'll turn up. You know what? Just trust in God and you'll find him. Okay. trust you. You can't! But you don't have any other choice! Hmm. I guess you're right here. Ah! Now throw me the whip! You are right! You can't trust me! I take great pride in that! Get it? Pride! Because I'm a, a lion and a pack of... <laughs> You'll never get oh. me in the candy jar! That's a long ways. Probably won't survive. But I choose to trust in God. Ah! Yes! You're not gonna get away with this. Hey, Danny, dinner's ready. Well, looks like he found Leo. Hey, boys and girls, I'm so excited that you're watching James River Kids Online. Get ready for God's Word. That's what we're doing right now. So if you don't have your Bible, run and grab it. Grab a pillow. Come back in front of the computer screen, in front of your phone as you're looking on the app because it's time for the most important part of the day, God's Word. The Bible is God's Word. And every single time you open up God's Word, it's like this special gift, this letter from God to you to help you become more like Jesus and sometimes just for God to let you know how much He loves you. You know, right now we're in the middle of a series all about a guy by the name of Daniel. Daniel is awesome. I mean, everything Daniel does is so cool. And we've been learning about how everything he did, he did it because he understood he was chosen by God to tell the world about God. That reminds me of our big word challenge. This is the, the verse that we're trying to memorize during this series. And it's such a great verse, so check it out. Let's, you can even read it along with me. It says in 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10, you are chosen to be a holy people, God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him, to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you, from nothing to something, from rejected to accepted. And that's exactly what Daniel did. That's exactly what you and I can do is we can share with others about the night and day difference that God has made for us. Well, right now we're in Daniel chapter six, which this is the most famous story of Daniel. It's Daniel and the lion's den. And we kind of started last week learning how this all came about. So just to review, Daniel is serving this king named King Darius. King Darius is a pretty good king. He really, really likes Daniel. And you'd say, well, if he liked Daniel so much, how did Daniel find himself thrown in a lion's den? Well, it's because of this. Just because the king liked Daniel, a lot of other people didn't. There was these other officials, these administrators, these guys that said, we don't like Daniel because the king thinks he's such a great guy. 
and he's getting more attention than we are. It's kind of called jealousy, you know? When you get bothered that someone's getting more attention than you, that's what these guys are doing. So they get together and they say, let's come up with a plan. Let's come up with a scheme so that Daniel gets trapped. And they think and they plan and they can't find anything wrong with Daniel. I mean, they're about to give up. These guys are like, oh, we can't find anything wrong with Daniel. And then one of them was like, oh, I've got it. We need to make a law. We need to trick Daniel because we know that he will not dishonor. That means he won't turn his back on. He won't do anything that displeases God. So let's make a law that forces him to do something that displeases God because we know he won't. So that's exactly what they did. They would go to King Darius. They say, King Darius, may you live forever. We think that you should make a law that says for the next 30 days that everyone in Babylon has to pray only to you. And King Darius was like, that sounds like a great idea. I love it when people pray to me. He wasn't exactly a godly king, even though he had this good relationship with Daniel. And so he makes this law and they add in there, if anyone prays to any other gods during these 30 days, he has to be thrown into the lion's den. And again, King Darius was like, great, that way they all do it. Well, what do you think Daniel did when he learned that this was a law? Do you think that he ran and hid for those 30 days? Do you think that he thought to himself, let me just pretend to pray to Darius and I'll actually be praying to God? No. It says in Daniel chapter 6 verse 10 that Daniel went up to his room. He opened up the windows. He got on his knees and he prayed three times a day just like he always had. I love that. It tells us that not only did Daniel choose to pray and keep praying, but it was because that's what he did every single day. You know, Daniel trusted God even though he didn't know how it was going to work out. That's really what trust is. It reminds me a little bit of when I was, you know, a boy growing up. Sometimes you'd wake up in the middle of the night and have to go use the restroom or you're like, "I remember that there's cookies laying out on the counter." And you wake up and you're going through the house and it's dark. So you're feeling around on the walls. You're kind of looking for the light switch. You can't see where you're going. That's what trust is. Trust is saying, God, I can't see where I'm going. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I trust you and that you have good things for me. That's exactly what Daniel did. He kept praying. So the guys, they grabbed Daniel, they drug him in front of the king. They said, King Darius, Daniel's praying to God. King Darius said, Daniel, is that true? Daniel said, yes, I'm going to keep praying to God. King Darius said, Daniel, why are you doing that? Daniel said, because I love God and I'm not going to dishonor him. King Darius, he was upset because he liked Daniel so much, but he said, I've got to do this. And he commanded that they throw Daniel into the lion's den. And King Darius, he said, they put the rock up over the den. They sealed it. The last thing King Darius did is he looked inside the lion's den and he yelled down, Daniel, may the God whom you serve so faithfully be able to rescue you. Boy, that night King Darius had no idea what was going to happen. It says he didn't sleep all night long. He was so worried about Daniel. The next morning he ran to it. He removed the rock. And what do you think he found? Well, if you've heard this Bible story before, you know exactly what he found. He found Daniel. He yelled down. He said, Daniel, was your God able to rescue you? Daniel shouts back up. He says, oh, king, may you live forever. He said, I have been rescued. It says that God looked at me and I've been found innocent in God's eyes. And king, I've never done anything to hurt you as well. And so King Darius, he pulled Daniel up out of the lion's den. He threw all the bad guys into the lion's den. And guess what? They ate them because they were hungry. They hadn't been able to eat Daniel. And that was right then when Daniel really saw, wow, I can trust God no matter what. And God will come through for me. We're going to learn more next week about this story as we review it again to learn how because of that, God used Daniel to literally change the world. You know, boys and girls, I want to encourage you. I don't know what you're facing. It's probably not a den of hungry lions, but you may be facing something that's really hard. And I want you to know when you choose to trust God, God 
will help you because he loves you. He loves to rescue us. I mean, isn't that what God did when he sent his son Jesus to save us, to rescue us from our sins? So whatever you're facing, you need to know God will rescue you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Boys and girls, you're amazing and God loves you. And when you're going through something that you don't know how it's working out, when you just stop and you say, God, I don't understand or I don't know how this is going to work out, but I choose to trust you. I promise you that God is faithful and he is going to help you. So let's pray this right now. You can say this prayer with me. You can repeat after me or you can read along with it. But let's pray this prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I trust you no matter what. I love you and I choose to live for you all the days of my life. Amen. Boys and girls, you're awesome. I want you to know that Jesus loves you, that you are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he has prepared in advance for you to do. Kids, I believe in you and you are world changers. Welcome to Kids Announcements! My favorite ice cream is cookie dough. Me too! My favorite princess is Ariel. I love to play on my iPod. My favorite toy is my baby dolls. My favorite season is spring. If I could have any super power, I would fly. We can't wait to tell you everything that's coming up. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. Check it out. Hey, kids. Don't miss Wednesday nights at James River Kids. It's Club Journey Live. We have an incredible time every week with our hilarious characters and live kids show. Every week is full of surprises. Plus, we get to hang out and play games, dance and worship, and hear from God's Word. We can't wait to see you on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. watching James River Kids Online. We'll see you again next week.